All my uncles were meat men. My grandparents were meat men. My great grandparents were all, all butchers. And it carried on from generation to generation. In here is where everything happens. My father never wanted me to be a butcher. He took me to work as often as he could to show me what a hard day's work was. I didn't want him to be a butcher because um, it was rough back then. It was a hard job to do, and you worked in a refrigerator most of the time. I wanted him to go better. I figured he's in college. He would be able to come up with something. Uh, I thought for sure that that would be the route to go. All I ever wished to do was to build a family business. When I first joined with my dad, I had no strategy at all other than my dad worked hard, I worked hard, he had the right meat, he had the right knowledge, and he had the right work ethic. He just needed some fresh blood in there to, to, to start to push and drive the family business. When I started working with my dad, my mom did the books, talk about a small family business. We had 44 customers, and if that number ever went down, like we knew about it right away. Burn this out, and then you have to start unloading it when it gets to there. All through college, in the back of my head, I kept thinking there was no marketing in the meat business. So coming fresh out of college with those skills and applying them into the family business, it's really what to turn things around. My dad spending all of his money on my education, it, it really paid off. Uh, 1.7 million in inventory. It's uh, 7,000 primals. Bringing him into the meat business was a big plus. I didn't realize it at the time how what a plus it would be, but he brought his education in, and here we have an educated butcher. Fast forward 20 years, we have 175 employees now and 1,200 customers that we supply daily, six days a week. We have 55 butchers. We have a fleet of 30 trucks. We have a full accounting on staff. He still starts at 3.30 a.m. every morning. <laughs> so I know if he's not there by 3.30, something's wrong with him. And I'm start, I started at 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm proud to say what I do is blue collar work. And I think that that follows suit with most Italian American families, especially ones that carried on from generation to generation. And um, that family bonding is always something that, that meant a lot. There's no doubt about it, I think that Italian Americans, especially our family, we were always proud to be American. My dad always taught me about um, loving your country first and, and gave me that sense of, of pride in America. But as far as the family goes, yeah, being Italian American, that kind of meant you did what your, your father did and, and that, that, that carries on.